Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a really exciting parcel to show you today. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to have a look. I've opened it up ready, so I, I haven't got any delay of getting into it. <laughs> but no, I've not had a sneak peek, so I don't know which one it is. Okay, so this has come to me from gbfke.com. Um, now, I don't know if you know, but they do do custom diamond paintings in round and square drill. They do custom cross stitch patterns and they're all like full colour cross stitch patterns. And then they also custom paint by numbers. So you've got four choices there, but obviously this is a diamond painting. Don't know if it's round or square. GBFK contacted me and said, would I like to show a custom painting on my channel? I said, yes, of course, I love customs. I'm sure you can probably guess what theme it is. <laughs> Hashtag Scotty Dog Crafts. And uh, yeah, so I sent them a couple of pictures because obviously I didn't know what size they wanted to do um, or whether the pictures would be good enough or whatever. So this is a total surprise to me and it's a custom. So yay, let's get into this and have a look. Ooh, so it's in another packet. Okay, uh, just to keep you waiting a little bit longer, there are some special offers on at GBFK at the moment. Um, the customs have got 39% off at the moment, so it might be worthwhile going and checking that out. I'll put details on the screen of that as well. But Looks like it's uh, quite a good size one as well. It's not a little teeny tiny one, so that's going to be good. Uh, so yeah, there are lots of special offers on at GBFK at the moment. There are special offers on the customs. There's 13% off at the moment. So if you're umming and ahhing about getting a custom, it might be worth trying one. Uh, if you are doing faces, then the bigger the better to get the detail in. You don't want little teeny tiny faces like that. Because if you think trying to make a face that size with the little round drills or square drills is quite difficult. So you, you know, you're wanting to have bigger size. Yeah, we'll have a look and see what this one is and then there's 13% off site-wide uh, if you spend over $39 there's a free gift yay and then over $59 is free shipping so yeah if you wanted to get those uh, customs or any of the other items on the website do go and check them out I have been buying from them for a long time prior to actually getting PR packages from them as well so let us see what we have here oh I know which one it is now oh wow oh wow okay I think we could be round but I'm not 100% sure but this one oh I hope you like it it's very personal to me so we are 45 centimetres by 45 centimetres. This is a little custom that um, I did on my computer of my previous Scotty, the one before um, Little Millie Moo. This was my Maisie Daisy. She was our first Scotty dog that we ever got. Oh, and she actually liked getting dressed up. She was quite happy to put T-shirts and hats and all sorts on. She loved being dressed up. And this little picture is when Hull City, which is our well local football team, Hull City Tigers, I've spoken about them quite a bit on the channel. Their kit is black and amber, so they're called the Tigers because they have like black and amber stripes. And uh, yeah, that was when they were on their way to Wembley, which was going to put them into the Premier Division, which they did actually do. So I did a little thumbnail. It was like, like all my social media, um, just to wish the boys good luck, as it were. So let's have a look and see how this has turned out. It's quite a nice stiffish canvas, not too soft, which I do like because I will be working on my little table and I find that uh, if I've got a really, really soft canvas, then they tend to start slipping off and I lose them. So I actually prefer a little bit stiffer canvas when I'm working uh, on larger paintings. Oh, we're all in grip seal bags and it is a square. 
wow that's good so you do get more detail with the square because square drills are just slightly smaller than the rounds and obviously you don't get any gaps as well well hopefully you don't get gaps but yeah look at those okay we'll have a look at the colors in a second we've got a tool kit with a lot of wax in there because obviously it's a bit bigger kit okay but look at this picture let me get it flattened down oh This is fantastic and um, yeah I can see my dad would probably quite like this and uh, possibly my brother and my nephews because they all support Hull City uh, for my dad's 90th birthday which you know he's recently had uh, then my sister and my great nephew so my dad's great grandson who is mad on football uh, he supports a different team though so we won't mention what team he supports <laughs> Uh, they all went to uh, watch the Hull City match for his birthday and uh, went in a VIP box and had like a meal and everything first and was sat in, well, relative luxury for when you go to a football match because they're not the comfiest places in the world, football stadiums, but yeah, they were in a posh box and had uh, a lovely time and uh, they put my dad's put my dad's picture up on the like jumbotron you know and said happy 90th birthday uh, so yeah okay so we have a lot of background on this all it looks like it's all one color but actually when you get close up look you can see what i did was i put a watermark type tiger's head in the background so let me see if I can get in. Yeah, you can just see now you've got your different shading and your different numbers. So although there is quite a bit of colour blocking on that, which is where you put all one colour together, you can use your multi-placer. Uh, this one didn't come with any, but uh, they are available on uh, GBF Keys website if you want to buy some multi-placers. They have the metal ones as well. Uh, so you can put more than one drill down at once, but every now and again you'll come across a different colour. So it'll be interesting to see if that sort of watermark stands out in the background. And looking at this, I think it will, but we'll see what the two different colours are. Because we've got 742 and 743, so it's just a subtle difference in the colour. So this is Maisie Daisy. Uh, she was quite an old lady uh, when this one was done. I think she was about 12 and she did have what we called snowflake eyes. So she was quite uh, black but then she also her, her eyes had like what well, we called them snowflakes like um white around them a little bit like a reverse panda <laughs> And that happens quite a lot with uh, Scotty dogs as they get older. Quite a few of them get like the white around the eyes, just uh, and round the muzzle a little bit as well. Although it's not shown here. Uh, and then yeah, she did have an odd white fur, a bit of white fur. So then she's got the Hull City scarf on there with the Hull City shield on the front. So that will be interesting to see how that comes out. Uh, that does look as though there's quite a few colour changes. So I think we will get a little bit of detail. We've got the great big football there, which again is a Hull City one with the Hull City like um, symbols on, shields on. Shield, I can't do a shield. They're like that, aren't they? <laughs> you get the idea. And then uh, like a jester's hat on, which is in all the Hull City colours, the black, amber and white there. So, yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. Thank you ever so much, GBF Key, for sending me this absolutely love it so it's going to be really good fun to do and there does look as there's some really good chart in there to get the detail for the eyes and uh, you know for the around the chin and the muzzle and the little nose there's different colors there because i mean it, it is quite difficult to do a black dog i mean obviously she she was getting gray as she got older but you know it, it is a more difficult uh, canvas to do but this looks really really good there's 20 different colors it's very very clear i think you can see there again if i hold it up on the darker colors you can see there we've got some nice clear symbols sorry we've got a little bit of glare today it is actually quite a nice sunny day today in the uk we've had a few sunny days it's a bit worrying we're not used to it <laughs> 
hopefully it won't be quite as hot as last year going up to 40 degrees centigrade and it has all got dmc colors as well so let's have a look at this oh we'll give a quick measure first let's measure so it says it's 45 by 45 so do we think it might be a 40 by 40 actual picture actual drill area yeah we are so the canvas size which is the whole thing is 40 at uh, 45 but the drill area is 40 centimeters that way which is just well about 15 and three quarter inches by yeah we're about to flatten it out about 40 centimeters again 15 and three quarter inches so it will go in a nice 40 by 40 frame excellent oh I'll get cracking on this one as well i've got quite a few 40 by 40s at the minute it's uh, i think one of my sweet spots to go to now the customs on the sizes of the customs on gbfke go from a 30 by 30 up to an 80 by a 120 centimeter and i think they start around about 14 pounds uh, this one is around about the £20 mark with the 39% off. So really good value. Really do like this. Oh, look at that little face. She was gorgeous. We were very, very upset when we lost her. She went to sleep in Hubby's arms. So, she, yeah, she was at home. Uh, but, yeah, she was very much loved. And we said, no, never again. And we held out for about four months. And then we got Millie. <laughs> yeah they're definitely part of the family but oh she was such a little sweetheart and a real little character right i am going to have a look at these colors now look at this one that is gorgeous that color wow oh and it's all in the diamond bags as well i do like these diamond bags as you know i've been keeping the bags the numbered bags to do my special drill projects so that as i do them if it's a number one on the canvas here uh, from the key code i put the number one shaped drill in there so that if i miss one out i know which one it is aha and it is working really really well so we are starting off with number one which is our squares okay look uh, quite square and i can't see any sort of knobbly bits on the edges of the drills there but as, as i always say you have to actually do a painting to see how good the drills are um you know you can look at them in the bag but you do need to really be placing them on the painting to see how they all line up which to be fair on my paintings doesn't tend to be uh, brilliantly lined up but i don't care because i just enjoy doing them and nobody's going to look at it and say that line's not straight and if they don't they're not coming in again <laughs> Okay, so that's number one. Number two is uh, a grey colour, a palish grey. Let's put them this way around so I can put them back in the bag the right way around. See if I can at least try and be organised. Okay, uh, number seven, eight, six, number three is this nice sage greeny colour. And let's have a look. Where's number four? Come in, number four. Your time is up. 14, 10, oh come on, I bet you're all shouting at me now, number four, that's number four, that's why I can't find it, that's like huge bag, and I say like seven, four, two, so number five then, oh now then we're going to get quite a bit of contrast with that, aren't we, that's going to be uh, really good, so the the watermark tiger's head in the background it's going to have all that round it and then it's going to have the paler color in the middle so that should stand out pretty well yay like that that's really been thought out because i was thinking oh they're a color that's next to one another but although they're sort of like the same color family there is actually quite a contrast between those two colours. So mm, this is going to be really interesting to see it done. And obviously I will do a kitting up and then I will do a kitting down and a review on it as well. Once I've got it done. And this one will be sooner rather than later. So let me have a look. Where are we now? We want number six. Is your paler colour again there? Okay. And that one is number six on the canvas as well. So... Wow, number six is on the football all around here. Okay. Number seven is like an orangey peach colour. 
Number eight is your rusty brown. Number nine is... Is that 939? No, it's 823. Oh, we haven't got any 939s. That's unusual. That's normally uh, pretty much a standard drill in uh, in a dog painting. But, uh, yeah, so that's a dark blue. Number 10. We're back to a browny colour again. Nice chocolatey brown. Number 11 is a sky sort of denim blue there. Number 12 is, oh, a very dark green. Oh, now that's interesting. So number 12 is E. So where does E go? <laughs> where does E go? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'd like to amuse myself. Oh, E is uh, actually around the muzzle on Little Maisie. So that will be interesting as well. I don't think I've had a green. I've had lots of dark blues and browns and things on uh, my Scotty dogs, but I don't think I've had a green. So... Yeah, that will be good to see. Uh, then we've got a very dark chocolatey brown. We've got another pale grey. A pale blue. And a pale peach. We're on all the pale colours now. Uh, 16, 17 is... Uh, 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 3799, which is like a charcoal -y, a grey colour. And then we've got a fawny colour for number 18 and like your chestnutty colour 19. Another palish orange colour for number 20. And that is our colours. Look at the size of that bag. I bet that weighs a ton. So, yeah, excellent. Okay, and they have written the canvas number on here as well. This is something that has... Uh, canvases started coming out more in the grip seal bags sometimes the actual canvas reference number wasn't on the packets so you needed to write it on yourself because it's quite easy to separate your drills from your canvas so yeah we've got 331f there and 331f there so brilliant excellent love that absolutely love that right let's see if i can get these back in this packet <laughs> without uh, muddling them all up again but then you watch i'll come to kitting them up and i'll just say oh i'm kitting this one up today and tip them all out and have to put them all back in order again but i can try i can try can't i <laughs> okay so look at that think with it being so yellow that we'd have this lovely orange colour so I think this is come, going to come out really really wonderful that colour palette is just gorgeous but nice and bright okay well as I say huge thank you GBFKE for sending me this um I will be getting it kitted up because I've got plenty of storage now I've got new storage coming as well oh my goodness and uh, yeah don't forget to check out the special offers and the 39 percent off your custom obviously the offers are current at the time of making this video so do double check as you're ordering to make sure what off offers are on uh, but yeah they always have lots of really good special offers on okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at this one with me if you have a thumbs up it's always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see what I get to do next and see this finished and join our little family you can do that by pressing this subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up and that subscribes you to the channel it's free doesn't cost you anything you don't get loads of spam email or anything it's just literally like liking or following on the other social media platforms thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now